everyone, my name is Cindy and today I'm going to show you how to make a really kind of simple but fun little derby themed wall hanger. Uh, so if you were able to sign up for one of the spots, then you'll have everything you need to make one of your wall hangers. Uh, you'll have some instructions. There. And you'll have a little bag full of all the supplies you need, such as your scrapbook paper. This. And then the little baggie with your chipboard and wooden horses, buttons, notions, things like that. You are, of course, just encouraged to add as much or as little as you'd like to your wall hanger. It's completely up to you. So if you have some extra notions or scrapbook items that you'd like to add on, this is the time to do it. Uh, but then, other than these items that were in your packet, if you were able to register, there are a few other things that I do recommend you have. Uh, you very much are going to need some kind of glue. Uh, you definitely want to have at least Elmer's glue or a glue stick for the paper bits. And then if you do have uh, a hot glue gun with some glue gun sticks, that's really going to help you with the buttons and the wooden horses. Uh, I think you can also use like super glue, but I always use a hot glue gun. You'll also need scissors. And if you have a hole punch, a hole punch is quite helpful. Uh, though it's not necessary, you can also just use like a nail or a thumbtack or something. All right, but with that, I am now going to show you how to make your derby themed wall hanger. So there are a lot of different ways that you can make your derby themed wall hanger. And honestly, it's a simple enough project that if you want to just make it however works best for you, I 100% encourage you to do so. But I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process that worked well for me, so feel free to emulate it or change it wherever you need. So, first thing we need to do is take our chipboard, this is the chipboard, and then we're going to cover it in our scrapbook paper. Each of you received a 12 inch by 12 inch uh, piece of scrapbook paper. They pretty much all have this really some kind of really nice pattern on them. And all you're going to do is you're going to put some glue on one side of your chipboard. It doesn't really matter uh, which one. You should all have a chipboard that has some little holes punched into them. I did that to make it a little bit easier, and that's going to be the top. But this is a piece of chipboard that I haven't punched any holes in yet, so it doesn't matter for me. So after we apply the glue to one side, we're going to glue it down onto... Our piece. You want to try to get it like relatively centered, but it's okay if it's not. Because then what we're going to do is when you glue it down, you're going to fold the scrapbook over the paper over the edges. And then you'll open it back up and you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut off each of these corners at an angle. And you'll end up with something that looks roughly like this. Uh, so you can see that it's all at angles. And we're going to take some glue and we're going to just glue these edges over. I recommend that you get something stronger than just plain uh, a glue stick, but something at least like Elmer's glue or Mod Podge. And you're just gonna glue down both of the short edges first and then the long edges. So now you have a fully covered piece of chipboard 
and this is essentially going to be uh, your little wall hanger. Now, uh, since you do have pieces, put, uh, little holes punched into the chipboard, you're going to want to take your hole puncher, if you have one, or a uh, thumbtack or nail and punch out those holes right now. I'm just going to punch some in here myself. And so now you should have your two holes out. And remember, this is going to be the top of your wall hanger. At this point, you can now honestly just decorate the wall hanger however you like, using as many or as few of the items as uh, you have available to you. And uh, then we're going to just come back when we need to put the wire on it. Okay, so if you've got it decorated in a way you're happy with, now the last thing we have to do is just put on the wire. So each of you should have gotten a green bendy wire, and it's they're super easy to affix. You just kind of put it in one hole, and then you wrap it around. Make sure there is enough uh, of the green wire left over so that you can wrap it twice. I actually want a little bit more wire, so we're going to do this like that. And then when you wrapped it twice, you should have a little tail left over like this, and you can just wrap it around like that. You're going to just repeat the process on the other side. If you want to make sure that it's extra secure, you can take a little bit of hot glue or uh, super glue and just kind of dab it on the back like that. And it's not going anywhere. You can then essentially uh, make the wire any way you want. Uh, if you'd like it to kind of hang like that, you can do that. If you need the wire to be shorter, you can kind of just twist it and make it shorter. Or you can just leave it nice and long. So it comes to an approximate point like that, and you can hang it up wherever you like. 
And that is how you make your derby themed wall hanger. So I hope you enjoyed making this craft together and I hope you'll share your pictures on Facebook. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me and I'll do my best to help you. So have a great day. Bye-bye.